Yo, what up? My name is Vladimir Richet from ChaseAndRider.com and in this video, we're going to talk about 10 things that you don't know about me. Intro. You should come rolling my sh Number one is my age. Back in the days, people always had a hard time guessing how old I was. People always thought that I was younger than I actually looked. Matter of fact, that's part of the reasons why I started wearing suits. I worked at a job that was client facing, so I had to look older and more professional. So I figured when I wear a suit, that automatically make you look a little older. But now that I got the gray beard, it's a little bit easier for people to tell like, yo, this guy's not that young. But without letting you wait for too long, I'm 43 years old. I'll be 44 in October. You know what I mean? October 4th to be exact. So let me know in the comments if that was something that you actually guessed or if you think that I was older if you think that I was younger I'm definitely not a spring chicken running around out here man I've been in this game for a while you hear me <laughs> Question number two is what country I'm from. It's funny because whenever I speak to somebody on the phone before they come and meet me and they hear my name, they automatically think that they're gonna meet with a Russian guy and then a black guy shows up. So it's always funny to look at their faces when meeting them in person because they always expect to meet somebody else, you know what I mean? But the name Vladimir obviously is a Russian name. No, I'm not from Russia. I'm actually from Haiti. That name for whatever reason is very popular in Haiti. Plus my dad likes Russian names. So that's how I got the name Vladimir. As far as the last name, last name is Roche. That's a French last name and like, all Haitians I have a French last name. It's funny because people always assume that I was born in Haiti because I'm from there and I grew up there but I was actually born in the Bronx. But I don't usually correct people when they assume that I was born in Haiti. I just say it rock. Number three is what I do for a living. People usually assume that I'm in the fashion industry. Well, part of it is true because I used to be in the fashion industry. I used to work for a custom clothing company. I was one of the people that would go to people's businesses and homes, show them the fabrics, take their measurements, and get their suits and shirts made, those type of things. My background is in mortgages. I did that for about 10 years, but now I'm actually in property management. I'm a licensed real estate salesperson in the state of New Jersey. I work on the waterfront, of course, from New York City. But on the side, I do some personal shopping and style consulting. But I'm kind of getting away from that in just really doing it on YouTube. And unless somebody really, really want to meet with me, I really don't do it that much anymore. I'd rather do it on YouTube and spend more time with my family. Number four has to do with my personal life. I'm married, happily married since 2011. My wife actually made a quick cameo in my video called The Three Must Have Shirt Colors. At the end, she made a quick appearance in the video with my daughter. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it somewhere up here. I also have two sons, four our siblings. I'm the only boy and I have four sisters. Number five is how long I've been dressing up. Like I mentioned before, I only started dressing up because I had a job where I had to be client facing. But believe it or not, I used to hate wearing a suit. I remember I was going to summer gym one year and I bought a throwback jersey. It was a Gary Carter jersey from the Mets. Uh, but the jersey was $400. And I remember my best friend saying like, it's so easy for you to spend $400 on a jersey. Why don't you spend $400 and get yourself a nice suit? You know, cause you never know, you know what I mean? And I was like, nah fam, I don't need a suit. You know what I mean? I'm good. And what made me finally get a suit was one when I close friends passed away and I had nothing to wear to his funeral. I remember going to Macy's and buying a black suit and that was the suit that I wore to like every funeral and every wedding after that. And it wasn't until I got a job that was client facing I was like yo I gotta buy myself a nice suit. And um, a friend of mine, he knew more about suits than I did, um, took me to Banana Republic and I got myself a suit. And it was a navy pinstripe suit. That's a horrible choice for your first suit, but that's another story for a different time. But yeah, to get back to the question, I only been dressing up for about 10 years and I really hated it in the beginning. I remember there was a picture of Damon Dash and Aaliyah. They went to some kind of premiere where Aaliyah was wearing a really nice dress and Damon Dash was wearing a throwback jersey, like a basketball throwback jersey. And I remember looking at that picture like, wow, this is exactly how I want to be. For my girl to be all dressed up and I'm just chilling in a throwback jersey. Or white tee, you know? <laughs> oh my God, growth is crazy, right? Wow. Number six is about my favorite sport. I'm a big sports guy. I'm from Haiti, like I said, so obviously I played soccer growing up. But my favorite sport is actually American football, closely followed by basketball and soccer. But I definitely love football more than any other sport. And I'm a New York Giants fan. Word. The seventh thing that you may not know about me is I'm actually an introvert. It's funny because I'm on here talking. Every time you see me, I'm talking because I'm on YouTube, you know what I mean? But for the most part, I'm really quiet, man. But when it comes to menswear, obviously I get out of my shell because that's what I'm passionate about. So if you were to meet me and I'm not talking much, it's not personal. I'm really an introvert, but on here, it's YouTube. I can't get in front of the camera and not talk. It's just me and the camera, you know what I mean? But I'm not really the talking type like that, man. For the most part, I like to listen more than talk. Number eight has to do with my menswear inspiration. 
I get all my inspiration from my mom and dad. My mom's always been very fashionable and that's where me and my sisters get it from. Like I've always been inspired by my mom. Even before I got into menswear, I was always into fashion. Like I was always with the Jordans. I was always with the icebergs. I was always with the pullback jersey. I've always cared about how I look. I've always wanted the nicest stuff. My mom has always been into fashion and that's where I get that from. And as far as menswear, I got that from my dad. Like my dad has always been heavy into menswear. My dad was one of the few dudes in Haiti rocking a three-piece suit. As you know, Haiti is a Caribbean island, so it's kind of hot there. You know what I mean? And my dad would wear a three-piece suit whenever he had to go to like some kind of big event. Like my first communion, my sister's first communion. I remember my dad wearing a three-piece suit. My dad was never really the sneaker type. My dad only wore t-shirts in the house. I've never really seen my dad go out with a t-shirt on. Like I've always had the men's wear in me, I just didn't know it. The sad part is my dad passed away in 2011. But even when he was here, the last two, three years of his life, he had Alzheimer's. So it's like he was here, but he really wasn't here. And that's when I started getting into men's wear. I never had a chance to really speak to him about it, which is one of the biggest regrets in my life. But looking back at his pictures now, I definitely got a lot of my style from him. Number nine of the top 10 things that you don't know about me is I never use a script. Like this is something that I would be doing anyway. Like, you know, when my friends and I get together, I can talk about menswear until the sun comes up, you know what I mean? So me talking to the camera and talking menswear is really nothing. So I never really write a script. I just sit down and hit record and start talking. I always know what I want to talk about and what the subject matter is going to be. But I usually get on here and just start talking. I don't script anything. I don't have no notes. The only video I actually wrote notes for was for the top 10 shoes between $300 and $500 because I wanted to say it in a specific order and I knew if I just started talking I wouldn't remember the order so I wrote the name of the shoes down but yeah it's not really something that I really get on here and look at a script or anything like that I just get on here and talk my you know what I mean and number 10 of the top 10 things that you don't know about me is I used to rap. It's funny because a lot of people can't really picture me rapping. I look nothing like the idea of what a rapper would look like. But some people can tell like, I've had people ask me, how come you talk with your hands like this? And that's because when you rap, you hold the microphone with one hand and you got the other hand going like that. But yeah, I had those bars, man. But I did give myself a deadline. I was like, yo, when I hit 30, if nothing materialized from that, I'm gonna stop doing it. And that's exactly what I did. A Couple years after that, I still had the bug because as I started getting into menswear, I would come up with rhymes that had to do with dressing up. And there were so many of those rhymes because nobody was rapping about suits and ties and stuff like that, you know what I mean? I actually did a song called the 10 Chop Commandments where I flipped Biggie Smalls 10 Crack Commandments, you know? So some of you might have heard that song. That song came out in the Tumblr days back in 2011. But that was really the last thing that I did. I did a couple freestyles after that, but nothing serious, man. My friends be like, you know you don't rap anymore, right? But yeah, believe it or not, man, I used to rap. Check it out. I worked at a bank because I love how the cash smells. I'm Haitian and I rap, but I ain't prize well. It must be because the homie smashed the ass well. I don't do R&B, but she keeps calling me Maxwell. Tell your girl I forgot what her head's like. I have been grinding and forgot what her bed's like. My homies pitch like they forgot what the feds like. Hustle like we broke and forgot what the bread's like. Some are allergic to the truth. Me, I ride in the drop like I'm allergic to the roof. So grown like I'm allergic to the youth. Lay my balls in one take. I'm allergic to the booth. Look, I make the money rain. Keep my honeys trained. In a gym, spar with them like money train. Nah, that, that's it, man. That's all you get. You hear me? So those are the top 10 things that you didn't know about me. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe. Everybody gonna think that you're a hater. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.